Hello guys, what's up? This is Javi and today I'm gonna just teach you how you could host the server for Exile. Uh, I've been trying to host it for a long time. It took me maybe a couple days to figure out what the problems were and basically you need to change things here and there and um, it can get kind of complicated because you forget something and then it's not gonna work and it's not gonna tell you it's not working so basically I'm just gonna tell you all the little secrets and I'm gonna give you all the files you need pretty much ready to go you will only need to change some passwords and install some programs and you're pretty much ready to go so let's get started so basically I'm gonna put you this file on a download link so you can get all of these little files that you're gonna need basically you're gonna t need steam CMD uh, just put it in the folder you want to put it and execute it once it's gonna download everything it needs then you're gonna have to find it somewhere and basically it's gonna be where you put it at. so if you look to find it uh, you're probably not gonna find it so just make sure you know where you put it in my case it's gonna be here in this destination basically you execute it once and it's just gonna run and download all the files it needs right once you got that done basically you're gonna copy this file and then paste it on in your steam cmd as you can see i got it already and basically after you copy and paste it you're gonna have to change the username the password and you're pretty much set i mean maybe it may ask you for a, an authentication code because that pc is not allowed to use steam or whatever I uh, just put that code if it asks for it and then it's gonna start downloading and maybe it's not gonna start downloading at that time but it will download the Arma 3 server files alright so once you got the Arma 3 server files downloaded it's gonna be right here in Steam Apps and then common and you're gonna have your server files so after this what you're gonna do is just you get all of these files and you're gonna paste them in your server files easy right alright then you're gonna download Excel mod I'm not putting the mod in the downloads but basically to download Excel it's pretty straightforward what you need to do is just google Excel mod first page you go and download and you're gonna download the client files through the HTTP mirror or you can get Arma 3 launcher and download it a bit quicker maybe don't download the server files because I'm providing them for you because they are already fixed to work alright guys so don't download the server files right just download the client files and just it's gonna be a, a folder like this one but instead of Excel server it's gonna say Excel you put that in the server alright I'm gonna put it right now Wait a minute, gonna just find it. Exile. And there we go. It's a folder like this. You just copy it and paste it in your folder. Alright, so right now we've been doing pretty easy stuff. Like there should be no problem doing this. So basically, after you got this done, what we're gonna do is install MySQL. Alright, so basically, you're gonna start installing MySQL installer, right? I'm gonna say yes, yes, I wanna download everything, yes, apply the upgrade. It'll take some time, I mean, it's MySQL, has to download a lot of stuff. And now, we choose developer default, okay? It's gonna include all the programs we're gonna need, and it's very simple. You don't need to click anything else, just put developer alright and it's gonna ask you if you want to install this shit I'm not installing it uh, yeah it's alright so now it's gonna tell you what's gonna install so you click on execute and it's gonna start downloading everything you need pretty much and it's gonna do it all for you and there we go we got everything installed now we're gonna click next it's gonna configure everything alright and this is where it gets not tricky at all but <laughs> we just need to click next pretty much and now we're gonna set a password though right for this video 
in the password I'm gonna put test all right you need a strong password for this in case somebody wanted to hack the server or whatever if they got that password they're gonna be able to access your SQL and they can mess everything up pretty much they can mess with the database but they can mess with everything so just don't put test in the password all right guys put something you're gonna remember all right and we're not gonna add any user we're just gonna re use root for this I mean we don't have to be that secure and we don't have to add the privileges and all of that shit so we're just gonna use root all right and now you get some options to install MySQL server as a Windows service I recommend this and then start the MySQL server as a system startup so that way when you restart your PC you don't need to find the patch to start MySQL or anything all right so it's gonna be standard user account and now we're gonna click execute and it's gonna start my SQL server and all this stuff and we're gonna get a nice notification saying what's going on so now yeah let's put this away all right so now if you right click on this you will see that my SQL is running you can stop or restart the server whenever you want all right you're free to do it and I wouldn't restart unless I change something but you can always restart it so now we're gonna finish and we are pretty much done it's gonna tell us the password which is test we're gonna use user root it's gonna check yeah the password is right and now it's gonna try again what's going on everything runs okay finish all right all right and we're pretty much done all right now MySQL Workbench is gonna open but we're not gonna start yet all right we're gonna wait a little bit all right now what we can do is install Navicat Navicat is the program you're gonna use to control your player base basically to make sure nobody's hacking pretty much check all the tables of your players and just pretty much control the server someone loses a mohawk and he doesn't know where it is well you can find the coordinates in the database basically it's going to manage all your database and it's going to be very very easy to use all right so we got Navicat connected uh, we're just going to hit trial whatever no we're not going to check for updates all right so now we're going to start the new connection and it's gonna ask for the name we're just gonna put Excel then the password for root is gonna be test in our case you put your password for root and you click OK if you double click it and you see that it's green that means it's the right password if not it's gonna tell you right so there we go now we're gonna execute the Excel SQL we can do it on two ways I recommend using MySQL workbench because you will see what happens and it's pretty use you will see it's really easy to use like no big deal we're gonna start a new connection we're gonna store the password in Vault. it's the same MySQL password it's test for us but please guys change it then we're gonna put on the connection name Excel don't worry about this name like it's not the name we're gonna use in Navicat or anything but I'm just choosing Excel to make it easy it's like a session alright and now we're just gonna go and open an SQL script alright this SQL script is in the folder I gave you in my case I put it in the desktop it's this one right you see all of this right well it's gonna create a database as you can see it's gonna create a database if it doesn't exist already and it's gonna set your SQL mode in no auto value in zero we'll talk about that later but for now we're gonna put it like this we're gonna execute it should be done by now alright and it did everything we need so now we're gonna refresh and boom you got your Excel database isn't that cool nice let's go and now in Navicat if we refresh it you see that we got an Excel database with players and all the tables we need to manage our server isn't that cool alright 
So now we got the database working. Now we're almost set. We're almost ready to go. So, as you can see in here, there's a full like a file called start.bat. Well, we're gonna see what that file does. It just makes things very easy for you guys. So now we're just gonna go in our Arma 3 server files and we're gonna look for that file. You see that? Start.bat? Well, we're gonna see what it says. It's basically gonna start Arma and tell Arma, okay, the config files are here. You need to execute these files, use these files to make the config of the server. All right. So now what we're gonna do is see what those config files say. All right. We're gonna edit them with Notepad, and this one is pretty much putting random stuff. We we're not gonna touch this one. But then this second one, that's the important one. It's gonna have your admin pass and your icon pass. Be sure nobody has those passwords because they can log in as admin in your server and mess everything up or get the icon and mess everything up. All right. You don't want people to know that. All right. Perfect. So now we're pretty much good to go. We're almost done. All right. So now we're going to go in our Excel server and we're going to edit xdbconf.ini and we're just gonna edit with notepad all right so now as you can see we got some passwords going on uh, this one is for remote access I would put something you know I'm just gonna put test you put whatever you want in there oh let's put test like this all right then we got this all right Excel is gonna use your database so basically you need to tell the game to use this database which is named Excel that you got in Navicat already open and it's named Excel all right this name is not important this name is is very important so you're gonna tell your game to use this database and then to use your username which is root and then your SQL password remember that I put a test but you need to put your SQL password in here the rest is just don't touch it, all right? <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> all right, now we're almost done. What I would do is try if the server works, all right? We're gonna try it out and see what happens. So now we got the server running. As you can see, it says game started. Now we're gonna execute Arma. If you got Steam, um, I would recommend use the launcher. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You basically create a profile, say an Excel mod. You just put it to use Excel, and you play the game. You launch the game, and it loads. <laughs> Nothing crazy. All right. So now we're gonna wait for Arma to initialize. All right, we're gonna hit play, multiplayer, it's on LAN. Now we're gonna double click our test server. It's gonna load, put us in the lobby. I won't expect it to work. Uh, you're gonna see a problem that pretty much, I would say more than 50% of you guys are gonna have this problem, but I will show you how it looks so you guys know how to fix it. So just the receiving data. I got the mission PBO already, so I'm not gonna download the PBO in the game again, but you guys are probably gonna have to download it. That's gonna say downloading PBO, blah, blah, blah. All right. So now it's gonna be loading. Take some time. You know, it's a complicated mod. All right, and it tells us you can choose your character location. I'm just gonna keep Kabbalah and see what happens all right we got the problem requesting bambi character this problem took me at least a day to fix i was like what is going on i tried looking in the internet people were saying yeah it's a strict mode but i was like yeah but what is a strict mode how do i disable it 
all right it's pretty easy to disable it like takes no big deal whatsoever you're just gonna use run then type c two points program data click it boom done you go to mysql mysql server 5.6 and you see this little thingy all right you can edit it with notepad and the important part is this little fucker all right this little line is gonna be the difference between your server working and your server not working so I would change it <laughs> all right we'll see how to change it and what we need to put there all right so we're gonna just put this no auto create user we're gonna disable strict table shit and we're gonna leave it how it is just like this all right nothing else I'm gonna save it and now we need to restart the machine so the changes apply I would like you maybe if you right click on this and you restart it it may work I'm not doing it like that I like fresh restart I got an SSD maybe you just can log off and log in again I don't know I just do it this way it works be right back all right so I'm back from the restart we're gonna start Arma 3 server with our batch file and then let it load and we're gonna start Arma with the launcher all right a very important thing guys I would suggest you wait for the server to be like completely fully restarted like for the server to be fully loaded until you join because if you join before it's loaded uh, it's gonna put you like on receiving waiting for server uh, to load or something like that and it's not a, an error with anything it's just that you entered way too early so I would just tell you don't enter the server too early let it load for about three to four minutes right so there we are gonna join the mod take some mod test server again gonna go hit OK it's gonna load the mission there we go we're gonna choose our location and boom there you got guys there you got your amazing server running perfectly fine maybe this thinking a bit I don't know Oh, there we go yeah so there you go guys I hope you guys like this tutorial uh, it may be a little bit long compared to the other ones but uh, I just wanted to cover it everything because I saw some tutorials that just don't cover the last part especially in well basically guys there you go uh, you're free to subscribe I may post some videos in Excel mod uh, doing some cool stuff doing some missions and other stuff and if you guys want to join the server, just hit the link in the description below for our website and you can play in there whenever you want. So, hope you guys enjoyed it and until the next one.